Greetings travelers! So today's tutorial we're going to go over the next section. So to recap real quick, we have talked about the images, which is in this case the title of the, the mod pack, the ring in the background, this map looking picture over here on the left. We also did the buttons, which as you can see the three buttons here, and we talked about the hover and the need to have the buttons as a pair in the image so that it works properly. Uh, and you will know, I forgot to mention the last one, but you will know if it's not right because when you go to hover, the image will jump or it'll shift, but it won't look like it's just the button changing color. Uh, so today's episode, you know, and then we talked about the options and the other additional little buttons. I mean, you can set it up any way you want. Uh, Lumion has a number of different examples from people that have done menus that you can go and look at and see what they've done and many of them have provided the the menu code so that you can see how it works uh, so you can kind of take bits and pieces if you want or create your own but today we're going to go over text options so in this case you know if we look at what's here it has mojang and again, these are just titles for you to keep track. So in this case, we have the Mojang and the Forge Mod Loader, FML. So you'll see that's here recreated, and then the Forge Mod Loader code, which is right here. But like everything else, we're going to go in here, and we're going to take the code that I have already, and we're going to replace what's here and we'll go over a brief a little bit and then I'll sh we'll save it and refresh so you can see so in this case yeah again you can see I've just been very uninventive and just called it example uh, mods the greeting so and again the same thing you have for positioning uh, the color refers to, if we scroll back up here to button text, this is the color that it will be when you hover over it. So let's go ahead and save, and we will refresh. And remember, Control R on a Windows computer will refresh the page. And now you'll see, I have over here the current version of the bond pack is what I've been putting there. That's obviously something if you're going to do this in a mod pack, you're going to have to change that with before each update so that this is the correct version. But I've put that there, and then in the case of I've had a number of people that have asked, I've put the number of mods, how many are active. Because Forge, there are some mods that they load, but they're not active because they're not something that there's an in-game function. It's just something that happens you know, to help with the loading of another mod. Uh, that's what I, that's the best I can come up with is why these two are different sometimes. And then at the top, you'll notice I have a welcome, and it has the player name. So to show you where that is, is first of all for mods. There is text placeholders that Lumion has built in, and he has a list of those again on his pages in the wiki. But in this case, it'll show you mods loaded. That shows the total number of mods loaded, which was five, and mods active, which is the total number that are active. And then the text in between is what I've added. So you could put five wonderful things with only, you know, whatever you want to put in there, but that's how you would use those, is you just put them with the pound signs around the word, and you can get the complete list from Lumion, and then fit those in and then put the rest of the text. And the same thing here where I've got the greeting but there's also a text placeholder that is for the username. So whoever's loaded the mod pack up, their name is the one that will show up in the top corner or in the top or in this case the top. You can put it wherever you want. And again with the positioning You'll see some of these are different because one's bottom right, which is what I wanted over here. And then you got top left, which is the greeting over, over here. And then you have the mods down in the center. And, I, you know, you have to play around with it to get the positioning. But, done right, when you expand, 
everything stays pretty much relative to where you put it. So it still looks very nice. And that's the nice thing about text. Text is actually very, very simple. Uh, there's nothing fancy about it, but you can do some nice things. You can even make these links. Uh, I can give you an example in a later tutorial, but effectively what you'll do is it's an action type and you put that it's a link and then the link that it's supposed to be when you click it. Uh, we'll get more in depth in that uh, when we go to do the custom GUIs because I did a lot of that with this particular menu. I did that with a lot of the text to create links. But that's pretty much all there is to it for the text. Uh, again, you know, you can do... Text is pretty basic, really, because most of what you're going to want to do is going to be with the buttons and with the backgrounds and, and future ones, splash and panorama, uh, or the image. So... I want to thank you all for coming by, and I'll see you in the next tutorial, and you have a great day.